The days pass, two weeks now, since the first of those disastrous sinkings in the waters just off this little island of Lampedusa. But down in those buildings just behind and below me, you would find survivors from those tragedies. People are held here for the first days and weeks when they land on Lampedusa, the first days and weeks of their new lives, they hope, here in what they see as the promised land of Europe. This place could comfortably hold about 250 people, but there are something like 700 in there right now, eating and living, many of them, out in the open in the most uncomfortable imaginable conditions. And Lampedusa lying where it does, on the front line of the migration from North Africa. Everybody here knows that at almost any moment, another boat packed with migrants could be brought into the port and more migrants seeking that better life could be brought in here, weary and exhausted from the sea at almost any moment.